from an early age, I was intrigued by the lives of others. And I really saw the value and the power of storytelling at an early age. I saw the way that people could effectively communicate their narrative through pictures and words or voice. And for a long time, I mean, I was really convinced that that is exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to communicate as effectively as the stories that I was consuming as a kid. Of course, along the journey, you change, you experiment, you adopt and shed different methods and processes in order to figure out what suits your character best, what suits your vision, what suits your desires. And there have been times when I've moved away from that desire to communicate personal narratives, and then it's come back. Every time that I've moved away from telling personal narratives, I've learned other things that have actually helped me to become a better storyteller. I find myself uniquely right now in the same mindset that I had when I was much younger, first discovering stories that just blew my mind and I felt that I needed to share with my friends and family. I find myself more solidified in that idea than ever before, but it definitely wasn't a linear path. It was a meandering path and there were definitely trails that led me off in different directions. But I had to take those diversions. I had to go off track. I had to explore other avenues because every time I did that, I was able to expand my own knowledge of why it is I do what I do and how best to do it effectively. And those experiences have helped to not just enrich, but also to cultivate a better sense of who I am and why I do what I do. <laughs> 